PCMs, colonial marines, well, aliens, colonial marines, but you'll be spending far more time fighting PCMs than aliens in this supposedly alien game. This adds a lot of interesting new aspects to the aliens and the marines in weapon selection, you know, what, what they can do and such. Unfortunately, far too much of it is specifically for the multiplayer, which is beyond dead. The plot and the characters aren't bad and sometimes do really get you to care. And it is a fairly good l length for, a, you know, the, the, the single player itself is six hours and with Stasis Interrupted, it's another two and a half. The, that means that by itself, this is almost as long as the other Marine campaigns in the, in the AVP games combined and if you add Stasis Interrupted to this then it is slightly longer than all of those combined. Stasis Interrupted is especially if, if you get this game also get Stasis Interrupted. The game goes to great pains to recreate the look, feel, the settings, the guns, the quote-unquote voice of the Marines and a lot of that does work and the game is no longer broken although Occasionally, stuff like the AI will temporarily break. On the whole, if you absolutely love Aliens, especially that the Aliens film, the second movie, at least consider this, but it's still not that good of a game. It's, it's just, it's no longer a broken game, and yeah, you'll mostly enjoy yourself. If you like this review and want more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.